Hello, little um, job for today. We've got uh, a Norton Atlas, I believe it is, barrel, 750 barrel, to uh, do a little modification on. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a little sore throat today. Um, this has got 5 16 cycle thread head bolts at the moment and uh, it's to be fitted with a later cylinder head that took uh, 3 8 cycle so the plan is to uh, make these up to this larger thread size uh, one slight problem we've got on this one if you can see that is it's been uh, been quite badly damaged so it's a little bit of a job to try and pick up on the centre of that one the idea for getting the centres on this I've retapped the original 5 16 holes as it stands so we can put in two 5 16 cycle bolts and that will give us a square line to work from and set the barrel up in the milling machine in line with the uh, the T slots on the table pick up on one travels across pick up on the other so we know we're in line Obviously we can go 90 degrees and make sure we're square, following square down and pick up on that one. And once I know the correlation between that and that, that one will be, be the same. So if I can, uh, if I can get a, a thread into it, I think it might just about work. A little bit, little bit dodgy and we'll... Uh, We'll better work out where that one should be, and uh, I'll have to take that out with a with a slot drill to keep it um, to keep the drill bit from wandering off the hole. May need to end up helicoiling that or doing something else with it. We'll see how it cleans up. So uh, I'll come back when we're set up on the milling machine. Here we are set up on the mill table um, the barrels raised away from the table and sitting on its its barrel base not on the, the spigot sticking out from the barrel uh, it's supported on some some blocks actually some old uh, old lathe chuck blocks that are ground a ground flat so we know it's it's sitting nice and square I've turned the head off the 5 16 cycle bolt and um, clean, managed to clean up that thread that was damaged just there and that just screws in nicely there so we've got a, we've got a register point um, in a slight revision from setting it up square and, and, and trying to make sure we're uh, we're in line what I'm going to do is is use an ER collet chuck which that one's a nice just grips it there just not a nice fit on it and allow the barrel to float slightly under the under the chuck once we're roughly in alignment and uh, nip nip that down and then clamp the barrel down and then we can drop the, the z-axis down we know we're in line with the uh, with the original hole to perform the operations on so we'll uh, we'll make a start with that these two part collet and, and nuts just click into the into the collet holder like that and screw onto the onto there so we'll play a little bit of alignment here I'm 
bring it roughly into position. Like that. And just allow it to, there we go just in alignment like that goes on without any any force whatsoever just nips down that's it so we know we're in, in alignment there we'll lock the table up at that and uh, set up for drilling uh, tapping drill size for 3 8 cycle is uh, 8.4 mil um, I'm going to just go through with an 8mm end mill to start with to try and clear up the hole to try and make sure we don't we don't wander off if I've got sufficient hole to uh, to guide us so what happens just kissing the, the thread there just taking the uh, the old thread out the advantage of an end mill is it's short, it's, it's rigid, so it's always going to cut its own path rather than follow an existing hole, which we don't want it to be, be wandering off sideways. I'm going to swap over and see what a drill bit does now. Right, I've just run through with the 8.4 drill bit. It stayed online on on uh, alignment with the <coughs> <coughs> sorry with the hole um we're not going to be able to clean up that that little section there i'll just set up with a tap and see what uh, what it starts to look like and whether it uh, it feels like it's going to uh, going to work right i set up a tapping what i'm doing here i'm just i've got the tap held in the in the collet chip. I've got a little little bit of downward pressure on the quill and uh, I'm just starting by hand just gently feeding it in trying to keep it uh, keep it square against that uh, that broken edge and get it started and then release it from the from the holder and continue by hand bring you back in a moment I'll swap over now to a manual tap handle and we seem to have got a good a good start there on the thread and just uh, just check where we are and just start to come through the bottom it shows up on uh, that second fin second fin down there And it's still left that little little chipped away portion. What I'll do is uh, have a have a chat to the uh, the guy whose bike it is and uh, see what he thinks. And if we have to go to a to a heli coil, then uh, then we will. But whether or not you'll gain anything over that, I don't know. Uh, let's bring you in a little bit so you can see that. Quite focused at that point. There we go. And so you can just see the little, the little bit around the edge there. 
see how it goes. So I'll move on to the next ones, see what we can do with them. There we go with that one, um, providing we keep it keep it nice and straight away from that edge. Well, it's got probably three quarters of a thread for the first, maybe uh, three pitches, something like that, and then it's uh, then it's into a full thread. So uh, as it's gone up from five sixteenths to three eighths, I think that'll be. Uh, that will be adequate. Do the next ones by the same method as as previously, using our little uh, little stud to get our alignment correct on the uh, on the original thread. Slightly closer in shot there there's the uh, the stud screwed into the original hole just nipped up finger tight and aligned up so that the the 5/16th collet just slides on there back that off There you go, and it just uh, just grips it, just nips it, like that. So we know we're we're in line with the original hole. And now we can drill out to cut in size again with this one. Keep my eye on, on the drill coming through the other side. Change over to attack. Method as before. We've got a little bit of lubricant on this. Um, you can tap cast iron dry. Uh, this uh, this Aqua Seal Tough Cut I'm using is also suitable for, for using cast iron. As with operations like this, it, 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 I find it gives a little bit better thread. And it extends the life of your, uh, your taps as well. So we'll just get that started there. Sufficient. That's it. And then I'll. Uh, Release the tap. And drop back down a little bit. Put a tap handle on to finish. Similar to what you've seen in the uh, in the previous videos of the the Watkin plane repair, nothing too complicated. And the last one for now, hole drilled out to tap in size. And as before, as before, starters off with the uh, 
with the tap in the chuck. And it'll pull itself in which you've got it started. Slightly. Keep them flutes nice and clear, clear out underneath as well. I'll bring you back in a little while. There we are, all four studs, stud threads done. Um, last little touch is just a little bit of a little bit of a light dressing with a stone, just to remove any raised parts of the thread. And just check over them. Just very slight takes off. off that raised portion. There, head bolts. Screw in there just fine. And then two. That one. That's fine. Right. And that one we've just got to start off. That's it. The light nut. Let's out a little bit. successful little job. Thanks for watching.